From all you can eat buffets aboard a cruise ship to the back of a Precinct 5 patrol car, Lakeisha Woods Williams is accused of abandoning her children. The 29 year old mother was taken to jail tonight. The details of the allegations almost hard to believe. So that don't even make sense right there. According to court records, neighbors at Williams luxury high rise apartment building, the McKinley sounded the alarm. They said they saw the mother of two children leave with luggage and bags last Thursday, April 4th and never return. On Tuesday, deputy constables with Precinct 5 responded to a welfare check at her apartment and found her eight year old son and six year old daughter home alone. The unit smelled of urine, record state, and was in disarray with trash and leftover food strewn about. And they told the deputies their mother had left to go on vacation on a cruise. These children were definitely left unattended for many days um, and, and put in serious harm's way. Williams is charged with abandoning her children with intent to return. Deputies did find a web camera and cell phone that the children said their mother used to check in on them. Is that sufficient? <laughs> Absolutely not. Prosecutor Keegan Childers says there is so much potential for danger. For them to provide for themselves, feed themselves, take care of themselves, as well as, you know, what if somebody breaks in? What if there's, you know, a bad neighbor? Any number of horror nightmare scenarios that could come up. Firefighters found the kids to be in good health. CPS released them to their aunt who declined to comment. But Otis Darjean, just a curious onlooker and father himself, had plenty to say. Like, that's a child, so that don't even make sense. Like, why would somebody leave their child, their young kids behind like that? Jessica Willie, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. The mother accused of leaving her two young children home alone while she went on a cruise just appeared in court. This is a story that we first brought you last night at 10 o'clock. A judge calling the circumstances egregious and set her bond at $25,000. Our M Micah Hatfield has more on a recap of her appearance today. Lakeisha Williams. Williams is accused of leaving her six-year-old daughter and eight-year-old son home alone at their luxury high-rise in the Memorial City area while she flew to Florida and boarded a cruise to Puerto Rico. Both juveniles told officers that they had been left alone since April 4th. The young children were said to be left alone to fend for themselves for at least five days and told deputies they didn't know when their mother was coming home. The Precinct 5 Constable's Office responded to Williams' apartment for a welfare check on Tuesday and noted that the apartment was in a state of disarray. They say it smelled like urine and said it was obvious the children had tried to make themselves meals. Court records say police found a phone and a camera that she was using to communicate with the children while she was gone. When deputies tried to contact Williams, they say she was not cooperative and changed her story about where she was. She was arrested Thursday evening. This afternoon, the judge issuing a protective order to keep Williams away from her children and to prevent her from communicating with them. She remains in custody on a $25,000 bond. What it do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today, we back with another lit video. We back in the confessional. Yes, we staying lit, big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Shout out to my homeboy, Lucky Wheels of Deals. He keeps it lit, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Make sure you hit the links down below in the description. We got Opulence Sense and we got HiveMindLabs.com. We also have Custom underscore Freaks on Instagram. Okay, man, let's get into it, man. Lakeisha Woods Williams okay was booked in the harris county jail on uh april 11th which was thursday okay she left him at the house since the fourth so she went on a seven day cruise okay this is not the first person that did it it was last time it was a uh, uh well last i heard was a woman a puerto rican woman i guess and she left her son uh, uh, like a infant in a in a playpen for a week and the infant passed. Um, it was the infant even ate its own poop. Like this is horrible. What are these women thinking? Where are the fathers? Okay, let's get into it, man. Lakeisha Woods Williams is in the Harris County Jail. Her charge is abandoned children with intent to return. She has a, a bond amount of twenty-five thousand dollars. She is still 
she remains in custody at this time. And I say leave her there. I say leave her there. She ain't learned. I mean, how would you like to be left somewhere where you can't leave? As she did with those kids. So leave her there. At least for the seven days that she left her kids in the home by themselves to fend for themselves. It's crazy. It's, it's absolutely egregious that this woman would do this. What is this world coming to? Going on a cruise is not that important. But then we got the baby mama that I played yesterday is upset that her, she he brought his kids and his baby mama. At least he didn't leave them at home. I mean, that's the what we can say the least. Like, yeah, we don't, you don't want to be with the baby daddy and the baby mama. But hey. This man's actually obviously trying to be a parent in some form or fashion. Where you have knuckleheads like Lakeisha Woods Williams. I'm ashamed that we even share the same last name. No relations. No relations at all whatsoever, okay? Because if this was my sister, I'd give her a swift kick. You see, now she has an order of protection against her from the children that she cannot contact them or see them. And if I was the aunt, I have more than a few words to say to her. I hope this ain't the same aunt that will protect her and bring her around these kids. Because no, baby, no. No, I don't think she understands the the uh, severity of what she did. I don't think any cruise, vacation, any man, boy, a child is worth leaving your kids at home for seven days. It's not worth it. Okay? Don't do it. Like, we seeing too many of this. Like, it's it's too many women going crazy on the kids. It's too many, like, fathers out here doing stuff crazy to their kids. Like, man, protect your babies. Where's the fathers at? That's what I want to know. Where's the father at? Because either she was a bitter baby mama and didn't want her dad, the dad to see the kids. The family wouldn't take them at first and then... See, this is why you got to watch your family because the family that didn't take her now has to take the, the kids. And she knows she had this trip booked for months, but somebody probably stood her up as far as a babysitter, you know, probably got into an argument with the mom or the sister or whoever was supposed to watch the kids. And now all of a sudden she don't have a, a sitter. And so she's, she it's either take the vacation or... And leave the kids here or miss the vacation. And we all know what she chose. Which wasn't the smart one. It was actually dumb as a box of rocks. Okay. I can't believe this stuff. The stuff that we are watching and witnessing on TV these days. But let me know what y'all think of this in the comments section. Um, don't nobody put no money on her books. I was looking for an Instagram page because you know she was posting pictures. I was looking for a YouTube page and we couldn't find one. I'm going to try one more again. Girl, girl, girl. You are, the audacity. Not everybody deserves to be a parent. You don't deserve to have that blessing of being a parent. If you want to know more about this story right here, go over there to Crimes Covered by Chris. Uh, she. Yeah. It's, 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 it's absolutely sad. Uh, everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to at you later. Peace. people man it's your boy pj today we back with a, another lit video we back in the confessional and yes we staying lit big dog and literally we getting lit today because we got a package from opulent sense there you go opulent sense yes we got us a pair of package we got us a total of three candles and we got some foam and bath wash i'm gonna try this out tonight Okay, um, because over here at the everyday people ain't nothing sweet but the Chardonnay. Okay, but we're gonna take this foam and bath wash, we're gonna be sweet today. I wonder what I could use that on anyway. So, we got the foam and body soap, 
And this is, I believe it's a Burberry flavor. Mm. Too bad I got allergies. But I, it's strong enough you can smell it through your allergies. That's crazy. Okay. Also, I have a uh, candle. It says, pass me not. Oh, gentle say behavior. Hit the cash app. Cash app everyday PJ, okay? Also, this is the Burberry scent. Now, this dude, this does have specific directions. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim the wick to one fourth inch, approximately six millimeters before lighting. Keep candle free of any foreign materials, including matches and wick trimmings. Burn only the candle on a level. Fire resistant surface do not burn the candle for more than four hours at a time, okay? So we gonna take the pass me not. And she, she, she named this specific scent after the communion. If you watch my lives, you know we do communion and our song is pass me not, uh, oh gentle savior. Okay, and we do that so you can don't pass me up and hit that cash app. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this wick. I got my blick, flick your bick. Oh, pass me not, oh gentle savior. Hit the cash app here. My humble cry while on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Hit the cash app. Make sure y'all hit the links down below in the description. We got opulent scents where you can get your three wick candle or the single wick candle, and you can get your foaming or foam body bath scrubber stuff. Anyway, keep your lid big dog. Peace.